I have a dream. Well, I had a dream just five minutes ago. I did a little nap and uh, I dreamed about uh, my perfect stereo receiver. And, uh, well, I uh, just wanted to make this movie before it goes out of my head. So I'm still sounding sleepy. Yeah, but yeah, I had to make this movie immediately. And, uh, well, I, I just started this movie with those famous words from Dr. Martin Luther King. He spoke out in 1963, uh, those famous words, I have a dream. And I think, yeah, it's now 1963, 2015, it's 52 years ago, those words were spoken out, yes. And I think, finally, in 2016, those words can, can come true in America, because finally, after... Mr. Eisenhower, the last famous and, in my eyes, uh, only good president since, yeah, uh, America have the chance to choose a uh, president what really stands for the people, and that guy is Bernie Sanders. And you won't believe it, but Bernie Sanders, well, he was he, he was part of that famous march in 1963. Yeah, this is not a guy who only talks big words just before the elections, yeah? This guy, his whole life, yeah? He stood up for, for the middle class, for the normal people, yeah? And, uh, well, I hope America, I, I don't want to inf interfere in American politics, yeah? Because I'm Dutch and I don't have uh, the rights to, uh, to involve in your politics. But I follow politics and I love this guy. And I'm a little bit jealous Really, I'm a little bit jealous that we, in the Netherlands, we don't have a guy like Bernie Sanders. Because, well, this guy is so integral, so honest, and just normal. He is just a guy for the normal people, for the middle class people like you and me. And, uh, well, I cannot understand if people have the choice between Hillary Clinton, yeah, Donald Trump, or Bernie Sanders, why they would go for the other two candidates. Because Bernie Sanders is just... The guy you need in America, yeah, and uh, well, I don't want to uh, to make uh, my policy talk uh, too long. I love politics, especially American politics. But today, I had a dream. I had a dream about my perfect receiver, and I had this dream because of my last movie. My last movie from the Akai, the Akai AA eleven thirty five. Yes, I told you. And I asked myself why these guys can't make just analog tuners, yeah? They make those retro style tube radios, those ugly things, yeah? But they can't make analog receivers anymore. Why? They can, but they, I don't know, they, they, they won't, yeah? So, I have here a perfect example, yes? That, 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 was, that was my dream, how the perfect receiver in 2016 have to look like yeah and it have to be a mix between this receiver yes and this receiver the Macintosh Mac 6700 this thing this Macintosh costs you in the shop now 6000 US dollars 6000 US dollars unbelievable price and you think it's it's a beautiful thing? The thing is ugly. Look at it. The thing is is just ugly. Look at this plastic cheap knobs. How can you? I don't know how what designers these guys have, but these are ugly knobs. Look at them. Look at them. Ugly knobs, and this small well. A small piece of info they give you. I love those two big VU meters and these two knobs. But the rest, look at this, 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 this reset button, this red plastic, cheap plastic reset knob. And you have to pay. They are six thousand US dollar. Okay. What I want, what I want, is this. You see, this is for me a, the, one of the most beautiful receivers ever. This is, I think, a, uh, yes, a G871BB, yeah, and uh, I just love the looks. And what I like from this thing is that it have this analog tuner mixed with a digital tuner, 
Ja? En dit is de techniek die ze could make in 1978. So why can they make it now? Oké, okay. this thing is not perfect in my eyes. Ja, yeah, I like the layout. Ja, yeah. the sound is perfect. We all know the sound of Sun is perfect. And probably will beat the sound of that Macintosh I just show you. Uh, what I don't like from this receiver is why they use these red, well, these red lights. Why don't make them blue like Pioneer made in in the in the, I think the uh, the SX. 3900 they have the same blue lights as the blue lights they use here yeah but i prefer i prefer the vu meters the vu meters i will show you i will show you the picture from what i mean what i mean yes this is what i mean this is what i mean why don't you use these four vu meters and you place them here in a row Yes, you place them here in a row next to each other and you can make them blue. Blue like the colors of the digital tuner. Make them blue. Yeah. Or yellow. Doesn't matter what color, but I think blue is, is more nicer. Yeah. And between you have some space left. And in that in that space left, yeah, you place this thing. This digital source uh, uh, well. Uh, info uh, place yes so just just imagine yourself you have a uh, a receiver yes with vu meters or this type but i don't like this type and if they make it you have to make it in blue lights like this yeah but suppose you you have th that perfect receiver with those four vu meters in blue yeah just standing here and in the small place what is left, you can place that uh, info display what you could see in that Macintosh 6700. Yeah, but that that's not all. Yeah, the thing have to be stereo, so not 5.1 or 7.1. The thing have to be stereo, but it also have to have HDMI in the back. Yeah, it also had have to have a USB connection. Yeah, in the front, so you can hook up your, I don't know what kind of thing you you want to play yeah it also would have a well a 3.5 headphone connection or microphone connection so you can hook up your your mp3 player or your uh, your 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 laptop just in front of the uh, of the receiver yeah and i just want the thing completely completely analog yeah with the same analog uh, amplifier this sounds we use yeah with the same analog tuner a really analog tuner but mixed with that digital tuner yeah so it also can receive internet radio so the thing have also have internet radio yeah and well that's a part i'm not that technical but i'm sure i'm sure that is possible yeah I don't demand. I don't demand 5.1, 7.1, 5 or all those, those those difficult things. Yeah, I only demand this thing combined with four VU meters. Yeah, and a little display what you just saw in that Macintosh 6700 with a internet connection on that digital tuner. Yeah, with a remote control. Yeah, and a remote control where the a volume knob just go from one from zero to ten in one movement so not like all the modern kind of receivers they make today you have to, to turn that volume knob 100 times to come in the end no just from zero to ten and that in a remote control yeah so remote control digital tuner internet radio a uh, on the front a, uh, a connection for your mp3 player a usb connection and in the back a hdmi connection that's all i want that's all i want and that in the same quality the same amplifier these guys used back in 1978 more i don't ask so why can they make and of course the price yeah and because it is all technique yes you don't have to 
uh, reinvent a new uh, analog amplifier or tuner. Yeah, all the schematics are there. Uh, the price can be much lower than that expensive Macintosh from 6,000 euro or dollar. Yeah, I think because you use those old analog receiver in combination with that analog tuner, yeah, old, you don't have to make com a completely new design, just use this old technique, use the same amplifier, use the same analog tuner, yeah. The only difference you, you, you do is you, instead of this, you make four VU meters. This, this cannot be very difficult. And you have to place a little bit, well, the the info display here, what you see in the Macintosh, the uh, the internet radio, yeah, uh, the HDMI on the back side, and on the front a USB and a 3.5 uh, connection for your yeah, MP3 player or your uh, laptop. So that's all I, I I I ask. And how difficult can it be to make a receiver like this? And if the price will be under 3000 US dollar i'm sure this thing it will it will it will be a bestseller because then you have a receiver with all the qualities with all all the modern stuff you need yeah because you don't need 5.1 you don't need 7.1 you don't need THX yeah we only need the sound the stereo sound and i'm sure if if these guys yeah a smart guy yeah follows my id yeah to make this uh this dream come true i make him rich because i'm sure this i if 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 a receiver yeah and i i, I never buy new i never buy new I, I i i explain you over and over again in my videos why i don't buy new but if this receiver will hit the shelves in 2016 yeah, I just describe you how it has to look like. I will be the first one go to that shop and buy one because it under three thousand euro and all those things inside it. You have to be crazy not to buy it. And believe me, I will sell all my all my vintage audio gear. Yeah, when I can buy a receiver like this in black or in silver, doesn't matter what color. Yeah, maybe. You can make a metal hood yeah, and give the customer the opportunity to choose between a metal hood or a wooden hood, okay? If some people prefer a more classical look, yeah? But for me, that's not that important. For me, it's important the faceplate, yeah? The analog tuner and the sound, of course. And that's why I prefer the sound of this Sansui. And uh, a digital tuner, so you can also have that internet radio. For me, internet radio is well. Now you can receive internet radio, but you have to well, you have to hook it up on the backside, and uh, that's very difficult. And why not make a receiver what have it all inside? So that was my dream. That was my dream, and I hope you guys take this video. Yes, and uh, just forward this video. You never know. You never know which factory or business guy see this movie and think, wow, this Andrew really have a good idea. I think I can make some money with this, this plan. And maybe he comes out. Maybe he can go and talk with Sansui and buy the old schematics and the rights to make the same well, the same looks as this Sansu, because let's be honest, guys. If you if you if you can make a choice, which one is more beautiful, this 1978 Sansu or this Macintosh from 2013? Yeah, with the plastic knobs here. God, this thing is it is not ugly. It's a nice thing, nice looking receiver. I wish I had it. Really, I wish I had it. But six thousand. US dollar is much too much, but if you compare the looks of this Macintosh with this Sansui, <laughs> well, it's 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 not even a, a question of taste. Everybody would choose for this Sansui immediately because 
It's really no match. The the Macintosh, yeah, the forty years younger Macintosh is no match at all for this beautiful sunscreen. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at this. And if you well, if you give this thing a display, a modern display, yeah, internet radio, remote control, uh, four big view meters in blue, yeah, and uh, I don't think, well, I, I, I think when this thing would hit the shelves, yeah, I think it will be a bestseller. And, uh, but yeah, I think uh, you need, the only thing you need is a business guy with a lot of money who believe in this well, in my dream, yeah, and uh, who's just going to build the thing. And uh, I think he will be rich in no time because who wouldn't buy a receiver like this when it hit the cells with the same sensory quality, so the same amplifier inside, the same tuner inside, and the rest is all new stuff, yeah. And who wouldn't buy a receiver like this if it would cost under three thousand US dollar, I think most of you guys, and uh, I would I would so sell all my old vintage stuff because the problem with vintage stuff is that the caps everything is old, yeah, and I prefer a new one. Only there is no there is nothing in the shops I want today. There is nothing for for us audio lovers, vintage lovers. We know why why we love vintage stuff, and in the shops. Nowadays, there is nothing, nothing what really, what we really want to have, and and for six thousand US dollar, the first choice is this Macintosh. Come on, man, this thing is no, it's not, not, not even, it, it doesn't even come close to the looks of this Sunsi. So, that was my dream, and uh, well, uh, I, 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 I started a little bit strange with with politics and. Uh, I also end with politics. I hope uh, it's election soon. I hope you guys uh, just because this Bernie, he doesn't get time on television. The only person who gets time on television is Donald Trump. Just go and watch who this guy is. This Bernie Sanders really will make the difference for you guys. Believe me. And I'm jealous. Uh, we don't have a guy like like Bernie in the Netherlands because, well, I. I, I would have this guy as my president, really, believe me. But yes, I'm not American, so uh, it's up to you. Well, thanks for watching this video. Uh, I hope you like it. Put those thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe, okay? Bye-bye for now.